you doing guys? Great to get out. Finally got out for a walk, eh? It's been a nice dry day, so I was working this morning, so got here and there, bite, bite of lunch and I'm going to head out. So I'm going up around the, the local walkway and it takes in with the old mine workings and then up through the old colliery washery and then up by the old uh, fish farms. So see how it goes on and I'll bring you guys with me. So let's go see what we can find. There's the old wheel wash. These lorries used to come down for the way bridge and go through that and rattle on the mud after the wheels before they went out to the road. So we'll carry on up this path and see what we find. Crack a day for it. That's a great day for it. I'm back out of the Sefton Inn again. So I've been walking for about 25 minutes now, so hardly met a soul. It's been great. A couple of deer up on the the ridge, but as soon as I lifted the camera to try and get a picture, boom, gone. So, with a bit of luck, I'll, I might get some mirrors as we walk up this wee old path. So, nice and sunny. Let's carry on. Give the road in a bit. Just to see the greenery away for the fields. Springs just in the corner. Walking up this trail for a wee while now, and I've come across an old shelter. I take it to use it for cattle because you see a bit of hay up the back side there. None in here today so there must be grazing in the fields. Aye. Old tin berges. It's not often you very see that very often. If you can read that sign there but it says caution bees at work. There's the beehives over the back there. Again I've walked up here a few times and never noticed these. Stepping off the path for a wee minute, I've always wanted to come along here, but this looks as if it's been the main driveway into an old house. So we'll follow this along. It's a bit overgrown. We'll see what we can find. Great to get out exploring. Well, up here, and it looks as if it's uh, a, corner, a couple of corner posts uh, where another driveway would have come in. So I'm going to have you wander over here and have a look. The corner post there. And the the right hand side one looks as if there's a, a scully, some description. That's a sheep or a, a ram or whatever you might call it. Looking at that there, so you can just see it in the bottom right of the picture is the, the pillars of the road would have come down there because there's another one just between the two trees in the middle of the shot there down to your left and as I come along the edge of these trees because there's two big pillars over here so it looks like this would be the main gateway into either an estate or a house or whatever it is you can just see them in the right hand side of the shot there On. Found an old ruin up here, so can't wait to get a wee bit closer. That's what it looks like a old croft or something. It's actually quite substantial. What a size! Must have been quite a building in its day. Let's go over and get a look. Put the gable end there. Look at the big cornerstones, give you an idea of some sort of scale for size. That's just the back end of it. Obviously it's been reclaimed by nature. Have a wee walk along here. It goes right away down for about another hundred feet, so I don't know if it'd be like one or maybe two houses or what. But we'll go and have a wee look. Let's open up there again, so that possibly be a doorway. You see the big corner pillar stones there, so that'd be the way into a door, I would think. The one up there, so that's probably been a window at some point there. 
Very. Well done. What is the craftsmanship that went into building these all those years ago for them still to stand. A fair old size. That's me walked all the way around it there, so perfect place. So I'm just going to stop here and get a cup of tea on. So I've got my wee jet boil with me. I'm going to fire that up and get a warm drink because it's a uh, although it's the sun's out, it's still pretty cold. It's around about the one degree mark. But uh, could they get a fitting, more fitting place for a wee cup of tea? Cup of tea and a biscuit. So that'll do me fine. That's me had my tea. I hope you're off you good to get a nice wee inner glow now, so that'll keep me going for the rest of the walk. So I'm just about back out onto the main road, so I'm going to switch off for the now. I'll bring you back just shortly once we get to the other side of the road. So. Around the corner there, over this, I cut off a bit of the field because it was swampy. And I says, Oh, there's a bit of road, so I'll come down here and I've come across an old derelict farm. So let's go, let's see what we can find. <laughs> the sheep have bolted, so I've got the place to myself now. Let's go and get a look. Can't beat it when you find somewhere as you to explore. The thing with farms. Shit. There we are. There's lots of it. It's alright, it's only sheep. There we go. Nothing you can come across an old derelict farm. Let's go and have a look. Plenty of rubbish about it anyway. Oh good here, there'll be sheep hiding and I'll shit myself. Exploring one of these things, there's been a sheep sitting in the corner, come bolts now at you. Need hiding around there. A hoover. A water tank. And the pens where the, the animals would have been. Some description. Grain trailer. Let's put the back so we can see. Never know what we can find. Nothing exciting in this one, just a wee square room. There's an owl in here, I just, there was some sort of bird, there's a lot of heavy debris there, so I'm sure it's an owl. Oh, it flew up through, there you go, That's something or other. I'm sure I don't know if I got that in camera or not. I'm pretty positive it was a barn owl. 
be feeding troughs for the beasts and set up it. So it looks like the, the level they're set for is for sheep. I'm not going to venture in any further. Up the wallpaper though. The old door. in here of feeding off the silage. Let's see if they're gonna say hello. Oh, inquisitive anyway. Quite amazing when you see this, it's just the, the water flowing underneath the ice. Stay here for a couple of minutes watching this. I'd have watched it a lot longer. I was walking up the road there and I turned around and you could see the, the storm coming in behind me, then the nice big rainbow comes out. So I decided to go over a stile here and walk up to the trig point. Well, that's me reached up to the trig point here, and when I got up here, it was all it was blowing a hooli. I was going to sit here and have coffee, but I said, No, we'll go further on. So we spent a couple of minutes here and I looked out towards the uh, Airdrie Coat Bridge, over towards Hart Hill, down over Black Ridge, and back out to Armadale. Spent a couple of minutes, but that was enough because it was getting kind of cold. So I dug into the bag here and got the gloves out and another layer, and on we go. That stays walking and done with. As usual, if you like it, give it a wee thumbs up, leave a comment below. As usual, stay safe, be good, catch up with you soon. Bye. Thank you.